Today, book tip time, so stick around. Hey, what's cooking guys? This is Marcel from Slamming It Out and thank you for watching my video. So today is book tip time. Actually, I wanted to uh, talk about the book every month once. I'm a little bit late, but uh, I try to do it more regularly in the future. So every month I will talk about a book. I will introduce a book to you which I have read, which I uh, find and feel has made an, a great impact on my own uh, life and also my personal growth and development. And the book I want to talk about today is called uh, Mastery from George Leonard and I'm putting it a little bit more close to the camera so you can see it. It's called Mastery George Leonard. So this book Mastery was also uh, recommended to me by somebody uh, I was learning. I have been learning from a lot, learning from a lot. So um, I'm pretty sure that you also um, want to master something. I don't know about you, but uh, for me, uh, I think everybody uh, uh, has certain things in their life uh, which you want to master. I don't know. Some people, some people doing sports, for example, so I don't need to tell you. DJs, for example, they need to master the art of uh, yeah, spinning the records, you know, sportsmen, tennis players, soccer players, you know, all these people are in a way masters and we all kind of have have mastered something already in our life, be, be it uh, riding a bicycle or um, driving a car, you know. So talking about mastery, I don't want that you think uh, of mastery of, or of, of a master like uh, an Aikido master, which uh, George Leonard, the author of this book, uh, was. Um, I'm not sure he was an Aikido master, but I, I know that he uh, has been pract uh, practicing Aikido for a very, very long time, for many, many decades. So based on his Aikido practice and experience, he came up with the idea to write a book. And this is a very crucial concept and topic, yeah? Mastery. So it is not so much about now uh, mastering uh, the art of painting, although um, you could also apply the things I'm gonna talk about in this video uh, to any kind of uh, activity you want to master. First and foremost, what I want to point out is that we are we have a dilemma in our society these days because we are living in a consumerist quick fix society. A consumerist quick fix society. What does it mean? Uh, we are consuming way too much. Everything is available and everything is available in an instant. We just need to pick up the phone, call somebody or a call center or we go online and we uh, click a few buttons and then we have purchased our product already and it needs to be delivered within 24 hours and if it is not coming on time then we get upset. So we are really are conditioned uh, to this quick, quick fix solution. Everything is instant gratification. Everything is effortless. This is how we are conditioned. This is how we're growing up. The older generation, you know, like uh, the, the generation uh, of my mom, uh, these people are a little bit different because they, they still know what, what hard work really is. They, they really know what patience is, you know. So I'm not saying that we don't know what uh, hard work is and uh, the younger generation don't know what um, patience is, but it is slowly fading away and you can see what's going on around us. You, you switch on the TV, you go online. You, the, the entire advertising industry is just playing on this on this uh, weakness, you know, or providing us with, uh, because that's what we want. As human beings, we are by nature lazy. We want to stay in our comfort zone, you know, and we want everything to be served to us on a silver tray with, if possible, a golden spoon. But unfortunately, guys, this is not how life works. If you want to advance in your life, 
you need to learn the art of mastery and you need to at least to understand the concept a little bit. So what is the uh, concept of mastery? Yeah, mastery, uh, what, what is a master? A master is no, uh, nobody else than uh, somebody who practice on a who is practicing on a regular basis, you know? Even the great masters, uh, for example, Bruce Lee, yeah? Everybody knows Bruce Lee, Kung Fu master. He was practicing every single day. Tiger Woods, the same, you know? It's not like you achieve a certain level and then you stop, you know? Many people have the wrong idea what how mastery is really function. Many of us, we think the curve is going like this. You start here, you practice something and you will have continuous success, always growing, growing, growing. And that's what most of the people think, but that's a big mistake because thinking that or expecting that, uh, that master to master something is going like this is setting you up for a big route awakening and this is also again how we are conditioned in our society everything is just going always this way you know but this is not a, how, how it works that the time will come the point will come when you come crashing down and then everybody is upset the process of mastery is requires patience persistence and practice patience persistence and practice you know rather than a curve going like this steadily to steadily to the top the mastery process is more like you start something then you have you have a few uh, successes yeah then you drop down a little bit then you reach a plateau and this plateau is an even line on the same level it can go on for a very long time nobody really knows and then again you will have a an improvement a success you will reach a higher level and then again you will continue on this plateau. So instead of this line, it's going like this. Slowly, steadily, you move forward. That, that's, that's how mastery actually works. This is how, how it works when we learn any skill, be it a language or a sports or anything else. It uh, requires the understanding of this concept. If you only understand that concept, that it's not a straight line upward, but rather a, a plateau where you have uh, certain in increments, yeah? If you only understand that, then you have already uh, uh, mastered 50% of this concept, you know? Um, because most of the time when you learn a new skill, when you practice something, you will be spending time on the plateau. Yeah? You will not just go up, up, up. And this is also why many people get frustrated and they give up because they, have, they, don't, understand, they don't understand the concept of mastery. You know? I want to give you three, three examples here. There are three different sorts of people, which also uh, George Leonard writes in his book here. Uh, there is the dabbler, the obsessive, and the hacker. Yeah, the dabbler we all know because uh, most of us are like him. The dabbler is somebody who, let's say, he he saw a, um, a karate movie with Jean Claude Van Damme. You know, like I uh, when I was a little boy, I was a big fan of Jean Claude Van Damme. So I watched his movies and I became so fascinated with this guy and what he was doing with his hands and his feet and everything. So I decided to join karate classes. You know. And I was very motivated, you know, I was um, enthusiastic and full of energy and I want to become a karate and movie star, you know. So into the first few weeks of training, the first few months was very nice. Everything was new. It was fun. I met new people, you know, I learned new skills, blah, blah, blah. But after a while, I don't know, after like six months, you know, training got boring, you know. There was no more real progress and... Uh, the training, uh, you have to go, of course, you know, uh, there to the training place and uh, always the same routine, the same exercises. So I start to get to felt bored, you know, and uh, no more progress. Everything seemed like no more fun. So I quit. So that's the typical dabbler curve. You know, you start something and uh, you make progress and then uh, you the progress you, you the line is not going up further you know uh, every any everything is not ex, uh, happening uh, according to your expectation you just come 
uh, crashing down, no more re results and you just give up. The second uh, guy is the obsessive one and here we can name probably a few CEOs because you find the obsessive people uh, yeah, among uh, the business world, you know. So they also start here, they have some success, they're also very enthusiastic and full of energy and but they want to push it, they want to they want to achieve their goal and they're very motivated and and they put even more energy and they have a little bit success and they're going a little bit down but it even motivates them even further so they spend a, a lot in this area not on the plateau but you know they really push it they invest so much energy and they are very narrow-minded they're just too, uh, very much focused on their on their goal but eventually they waste their energy because they don't understand the mastery process. This is not just going up, 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 up. And they want to push it. And if it is not going up fast enough, they want to push it they with force and they want to push. And, uh, and that costs a lot of energy. You cannot just go like a rocket ship. It costs you a lot of energy. You have to understand that a plateau will be coming and you will spend significant time on the plateau and this is also a learning process people think if they reached a plateau that this is now the end game it's uh, the the stop the process of the uh, learning and developing uh, came to a halt no it's not the way even you are on a plateau but you steadily and slowly move forward when you continue uh, patiently and steadily with your practice even you not notice that you move forward but it is the case you know because the time will come when you hit your next uh, peak and the obsessive is just investing or wasting in this case too much energy and then he burned all his energy and then he says ah oh, shit that really sucks i uh, I, I give up and then he's coming uh, he start to crush down as well and then uh, the third guy is the hacker you know, we all also know the hacker. We want to learn a new sports, for example, skateboard or tennis. You know, uh, I when I was a teenager, I, uh, I was fascinated with skateboarding. So I bought myself a skateboard. I tried it out. I was here rolling around the neighborhood, you know, riding my, my board. And I was comfortable to ride it. But then uh, I, I could do a few tricks also. But then I was comfortable with it, you know, like I didn't want to learn anymore that is like you know you, you start again at a certain level you have some success you gain gain some skill you know but then you stay on that plateau you have no more motivation uh to to master anything anything more which is also okay actually you know uh, many people we know many people who are after uh, after they reach a certain level uh, they just um stay on the plateau because they feel comfortable so it's fair enough but that has of course nothing to do with mastery you will not master any uh, anything further because you will just remain on the plateau so here um, i want to give you at the end of this video uh, uh, also a few few tips uh, george leonard is uh, talking about his book um, in order to uh, become a master or to master something just uh, one uh, tip would be to actually yeah, join a master, depending on uh, what you learn, painting or martial arts or whatever it is. You want to become a Formula One uh, driver, you need uh, the best way is to find a master, a mentor, an instructor who is already a master in his or her field. That's, I think, the best way to start, you know. And of course, again, you need regular practice, 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 repetition, 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 patience, 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 and persistence. You know, you will not become a master without any practice. Being a master, as I said in the beginning, is just somebody who is practicing on a daily basis. And what also will help you to achieve your goal to master something is to have a great vision that you have um, the picture in your mind that you have a clear goal that you can imagine that you are able to imagine where do you want to go this is very very important also because this will be your fuel and your motivation to keep going george leonard also talks about some tools for mastery in his book and also he talks about 
some pitfalls on the path of mastery. So I'm not talking about all of them, just picked one out. Um, tools for mastery. Uh, it is, there are not just certain techniques in order to master something, but also we, uh, mastery is a, is a process of becoming aware of yourself also. And one of the things we have to become aware of on ourselves is the concept of homeostasis. Homeostasis means basically that when you start to move out of your comfort zone, there will be, there will be always resistance. You know, let's say you want to get up an hour early in the morning, you decide instead of sleeping in, you say you get up 6 a.m. every morning from tomorrow on. You set your alarm clock and uh, at 6 a.m. in the morning, the alarm clock is ringing, but you feel very sleepy and tired and you just say, damn it, I'm not going to get up. But the next day, you, 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 uh, the alarm clock is ringing again, right? And you have this, yeah, you have the, you feel the resistance, you know, your, your, la your laziness, you know, this is called home, because your, your mind, uh, how the, 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 the human mind works in these ways, you know, it needs homeostasis because this is how we secure our survival. Yeah. You cannot always have change, change, change. Change can be also dangerous in a certain way. And this is how human evolution, human evolution was happening, you know, so, Remain in the comfort zone, remain in the safety zone, because that's what it says, safety zone. If you are in a safe zone, you are safe. You are, there are no threats, you know, so you survive. But it's also limiting, you know. Yes, comfort zone, you, you, you are very comfortable and safe, but, you know, the boundaries is, it's like a prison. It is, uh, it's limiting you on your way to development and growth. You know, if you want to grow, if you want to grow, uh, if you want to outgrow your comfort zone, you need to, you need to break through these limitations, but these limitations are all in your, in your mind. And, but this is how the mind, mind works. That's called homeostasis. It's not only your own limitations, also limitations from your environment. You know, uh, we have so many examples of, uh, of, of other people who started a new job or who wanted to travel another country or who decided to move to another country. This is what happened to me. Yeah. When I announced to, to my family that I wanted to, uh, let's say, live in the United States, some people really thought I'm crazy. And they said, no, you, you don't do this. This is too risky, you know, and you don't know the people. You don't know, you don't speak the language. And, and what if you lose your job and all this stuff, you know, we all know this. People, this is also homeostasis. You know, you have the resistance from your environment. So you have to overcome two obstacles, your inner own resistance. And then in addition, which is sucks even more, is the resistance from your closed ones, your mother, your father, your aunties, your family. That's even worse. If your close family is not even supporting you, but actually want to sabotage you, but not because they are bad people. Yeah. They're also in a state of homeostasis, you know, they haven't, haven't seen anything. Yeah. They never traveled to America, for example. So they don't know. Yeah. And the, the, the pitfall, one of the pitfalls, uh, for example, uh, on your way to mastery is also your own laziness. I was mentioning this already. Yeah. And again, your, um, impatient and quick fix mindset. This is one of the the biggest pitfalls at all you can encounter, you know, is quick fix society, instant gratification. This is not how it works. I know the whole advertising and marketing industry is trying to convince you that this is how life works. Just order our product and we will fix your life. Order our product and we will fix your bank account. Order our product and you will achieve the weight of your life, yeah, you will reduce 50 pounds in 10 days. Consume our product and we will fix your relationships and, any, and, and all sorts of that nonsense and bullshit. You know, this is how advertisement and companies and marketing are trying to manipulate us and influence us and they want to tell us the story. You know, everything is easy, everything is instantly, you know, without any effort. 
But that's bollocks. This is not how life works, folks. Unfortunately. Or should I say fortunately, you know, because the mastery process requires a few mindset changes, you know, but what's wrong with that? To learn something about yourself and to dig and grow your way forward. So that was my book tip for today. I have another book tip for you. It's called Slamming It Out. How I got shit done in five star kitchens. This is my book. This is my story. And um, yeah, you can also read here how I mastered certain things in my life. And you also can read um, uh, things that I haven't mastered yet or things I failed. You know, I still need to work on. So this is a, a that's that's my story. It's it's packed with useful tips, tricks, and other tools. If you not only want to become a better and more professional chef, but also a better human being, um, a roller coaster through life and the kitchen. So, all right. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Also, if you find this content useful, click the like button and subscribe to my channel. Um, if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, concerns, please let me know in the comment sections. How did you like this video? Was it too long? Was it too short? Should I elaborate more on certain aspects? Is this concept clear to you? Yeah, the book again, Mastery from George Leonard. I highly recommend to read this book. It's only like um, 170 pages. It's a small one. You can read this in, in a couple of days. Also check out uh, my two online classes uh, on Udemy. Uh, the first course is Nine Leadership Principles, uh, um, how to become a powerful team leader. And the second course is my Persuasion Masterclass, which I have released a few weeks ago, Persuasion in a World Where Influence Matters. Please also check out my website, www marclr.com there you can find many more videos you can find my weekly blog and uh, with that being said i'm checking out for the day wishing you a great week ahead and uh, stay safe stay healthy and don't forget always keep slamming it out take care bye bye